Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sampfix YouTube channel. And this is Xiaomi Mi Linux so or the Poco F3 or Redmi K40. Custom ROM reviews back with again a new video for Mi Linux. The custom ROM review here. And I brought with HyperOS Lite GE edition. There are different editions. HyperOS Lite, the first video what I made. You check out that. Later I have made CN edition. And this is GE edition. And the version is 1.0.0. 1.0 yeah you can see the voice version and android version is based on android 13 here and security patches june here which is latest one baseband version you can see and the kernel user is 4.19.312 real king version 16 eternal kernel has been used and this all the other information about this rom and this is simple settings panel and if you can see the ui itself is having some kind of theme applied as you can see the icons looks like this the smoothness in the ui is next level here and this is the quick settings toggle i don't found any okay here it is you can add these things if you want you can add them into your qbs panel yeah those are the things you get it and yeah those are really fine it's in bigger size isn't it similar to ios kind of style let me know in the comment section and this is app drawer and all this is a minus one screen here you can actually edit them without wasting any time we'll see some results first and gallery application also here used like this if you want to show here you can see recognize text is there table is not there this is the geekbench score what i got in this particular room the version of Geekbench is 6.3 amazing and the scores are 1279 is a single score and 3303 is a multi score again and version 13 based on Linux 4.19.312 real king version 6.0 so 16.0 eternal kernel and regarding basic integrity and CTS profile match both getting passed and device is also certified hence using payment applications is not a problem in this particular ROM again Dolby Vision it is certified but HDR10 only and l1 certification is there watching ott application is also not a problem and these are the read rates features with graph and numericals and i have 200 mbps plan but what is yours it was pulling up to 330 mbps i was surprised why it is showing high but it is what it is and this is the charging and which i mean the 33 watt charging support is there and also when you change like this for example into the silent mode you'll get that dynamic island style whatever we see in the hyper OS while even charging also it will show and this is some echo battery results you get some idea at the end of the video also i'll show you you'll get some idea regarding battery life and camera again you get hyper OS camera only uh, in the video mode you also get 4k 60 that's really really good and like i integrated here this camera and you also get some additional features here a dialer again you get MIUI dialer, I mean the HyperOS dialer. You also get call recording, auto call recording, and other things you can check out. Very similar to HyperOS ROMs. And some of the apps like themes and again security applications. This is a HyperOS style, as you can see. Again, settings you get plenty of options here too. If you drag here, as you can see, these are the additional settings you get in this particular ROM and dialer messaging everything is similar to what i said and there is no video player here pre-installed if you want you can use any other video players and this is me calculator some of the me apps are pre-included here if we go into settings again it's very simple guys nothing kind of anything also the color theme is little bit brownish based upon the wallpaper it has been set and yeah We'll start with additional settings only. You get language as an input. You'll get plenty of languages. Pause the video and check out whether your language is there or not. Plenty of languages are included here, but some might be missing. You can check out there and enhance keyboard option. You'll get multi functional default and left shortcut. You get all these options here, right shortcut and central area. You can cover all these options and quick ball feature is there. You can select the shortcut for individual options here. This is the quick ball. You can actually choose the individual options from here. One-handed mode, it's also gonna 
or fine no problem regarding that and floating windows it's definitely a very good feature only in the uh, hyper os roms it's very good guys using this you can actually switch to any other apps in multitasking it will definitely help you and app flashcards are also given here as you can see this is completely a stable update for me 11x memory extension up to 6gb my variant is 6 you will get 8 if it is 8 and again this all the extra settings in the battery again you get four different mode and battery life as i said you can check out this echo battery results for now but i can say it's very good right now uh, for any of the roms because summers are going on battery life will be better in the summer again this is fingerprint face unlock and app lock is also given let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's very much fast to unlock your smartphone using that and face unlock also you guys can see and this is advanced restart button as you can see face unlock and fingerprint unlock is fast here to unlock your smartphone using those two i haven't seen any slow or anything like that and this is sound settings again in the additional settings you also get these options sound effects harman kardon is there dolby atmos is also there no need to worry regarding that touch options you get all these options here display and brightness again dark mode implementation i really liking it as you can see switching between them is also smooth here sunlight mode is there smooth and transition automatic brightness color scheme again you get plenty of options here too you can choose among them refresh rate again you get custom 90 option is also there apps using high refresh rate you can select them force them to select here and again you get AI image engine, super resolution and HDR enhancement and MEMC. Those are the things you get it. It will work fine. And display and brightness, I'll explain the home screen. You get these options here with the app drawer, light mode and classic mode. App quality font, you can disable them. The minus one screen, what I was speaking. Gemini icons is there, search bar styles are there. Folder columns, again, you can customize them. Icon size and this themed icons kind of style here wallpaper zoom style and animation speed you can select them recent ios style you guys can see you can actually change it to vertical if you want it again notifications status bar everything remains very same i don't want this extra yeah now it's fine wallpapers and personalization again these lock screen customizations are still available here. This is the HyperOS change. You can actually customize them. Filter apply like this. You can apply it to this one. And always on display is also given as you can see. And if you enable that, you will get always option also. That is very much important for many people. Effects also, you'll get four different things here. And it will revert back to that one and lock screen these are the options you get that's it interconnectivity you get all these options and more connectivity options you get all these necessary options everything is fine guys I haven't faced any issues regarding this particular rom if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section and we'll see the bgmi how it handles in this particular rom Coming to graphic settings here, we get smooth extreme plus here. That's fine in my opinion. And gaming experience is also good here. You also get these options here, gaming mode and all, performance mode. You can actually switch between balance and performance. And this one, you guys can see the screen, saturated and bright. I want both bright and saturated. Voice changing options are also given here. You get all these options and also the brightness toggle as you can see and casting turn off screen enhanced visuals you get all these options super resolution let's see how it handles in this particular rom that was very good oh that is very close and there's a volume panel you get it here and these are the quick settings toggles
yeah gaming experience is fine and device might get a little bit warm if you play for continuously around hours then it's very similar to any custom rom also yeah we'll come back here you guys can see the echo battery results now it will gradually increase the average image share and the percentage also if you use it like that it again depends upon your usage guys the battery life is good in this rom and everything is fine here i haven't faced any issues as of now in this particular rom there are three different options for you this is a hyper slight gk edition there is cn edition and there is a simple edition also you can check out all the three videos in my channel this is sampath signing off we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now